Fish. Hi, I'm Lance Egan with Fly Fish Food, and I want to share with you some of the ways that we keep our dry flies floating high on the surface. So dry fly fishing is one of our favorite ways to fish, and uh, we think that it's an often overlooked, uh, I guess the process of keeping your fly dry is an often overlooked technical part of the fly fishing experience. So most people are familiar with floatants, right? We've got gink, you have loxa, you have a quill, there's all kinds of different brands of floatants, right? Floatant is a, uh, a paste you put on your dry flies. Most of us are familiar with it. Uh, some materials on dry flies take various floatants better than others, but long story short, you need something on there to keep your dry floating. So, with that in mind, some of the, again, some of the just real basic ones, Gink or Aquel are a couple of our most popular sellers in the shop. Of the just general purpose floatants, Aquel is my favorite because Gink uh, floats very well, but it's not as consistent formulation wise. So when it gets really hot out, it tends to get really watery. When it gets really cold out, it tends to be really hard to get out of the tube. The Aquel is a little more temperature stable, so it works better in all, uh, all air temperatures. Uh, so put that on any fly, on other than a CDC fly, on foam patterns, on deer hair patterns, elk hair patterns, you know, hackled flies, both of those will work great. Another general uh, floatant is called payette paste. This is a, a thick uh, paste, let's call it, a little thicker formula than the previous two. I use this mostly to float my leader, which I highly recommend. I find when I'm fishing dry flies, especially in a boat, when I'm fishing dry flies and watching as I'm rowing, I'm watching another angler throw them. This is an overlooked piece of the tackle that I think is really important to put floatant from your fly line tip all the way down to maybe 20 inches or so from your fly. Doing so will keep your leader up on the, on the surface of the water. It'll allow you to mend and manipulate the leader in the presentation much easier and it'll make it so that when you lift the leader off and the fly off, the fly won't get pulled under and pop. So it won't make as much surface disturbance when you go to lift the fly off. So a thicker uh, float like payette paste is really important in my personal fishing gear. Next up we have CDC friendly uh, floatants. So CDC is a feather from the butt of a duck, cold day canard it's called. Uh, it's the feathers that surround the gland on a duck that secretes the oil that makes the duck's feathers waterproof. So regular floatants like a quell and gink don't work very well on CDC. But we do have gel style floatants or paste style floatants that do. Loxa from Loon and Dry Magic from Tiemco are a couple of my favorites. I really favor the Dry Magic. I think it works best for me on CDC. Next up, also good on CDC but also good on all flies, are powder style floatants. We have Dry Shake, we have Top Ride, we have Easy Dry, and on and on and on. Frog's Fanny, Loon Dust, Blue Ribbon, there's all kinds of them. Uh, bottom line is they, uh, they all dry your fly. Some of them, like Dry Shake and like Top Ride, dry your fly and they also have the powder. So Loon Dust and Frog's Fanny are really good because they have powder in them, but they don't also dry the fly. So you need to dry the fly with those first and then apply the powder where the Top Ride and Shimizaki both of those products, you can just yeah, stick a wet fly in there. You flip the cap, put the fly in while it's still on the tippet, close it, shake it up, and then your fly comes out ready to, to fish. It helps in a lot of cases if you brush the fly a little bit. Um, some of these products, like these two, again, have a brush to help brush that float in. Uh, also of note, there's, there's some things like primer. So the dry shake, this is my favorite floatant there, the, the powder style. If you put primer on the fly first, the powder of the dry shake stays on a little bit longer. All right, so use these floatants to your advantage. Uh, think about the type of fly you're using. If it's a foam fly, you can get away with a thicker floatant. If it's a really sparse, uh, maybe a no hackle or something like that, you might try a thinner floatant like Loxa or Dry Magic. Again, if you're using CDC patterns, Loxa or Dry Magic, or any of the, the powder style. Also. You want to always start with your fly with floating on it, and then once it's waterlogged or the fish have slimed it, then you want to try and wash the slime off, put uh, dry it off as best you can, and then put stuff like dry shake or top ride or something like that on it to revive the fly. Okay, here's a really cool trick I want to share with you about uh, CDC dries. So CDC dries are some of my favorites because CDC feathers are very effective. This trout seem to really like them. It's kind of like peacock pheasant tail and CDC. You can't go wrong with any of those, right? 
So CDC flies float naturally because they are from the, the feathers are from the butt of the duck where the oil secretes to make all of the uh, feathers on the duck waterproof. However, a fish or uh, just fishing your fly a lot will make your fly waterlogged. And this really cool trick was shown to me by my friend Pablo from Spain, who's a world champion angler. And uh, he visited this summer and shared with us a few of his, his tricks. This particular one really made sense to me. I love fishing CDC patterns like this corn fed caddis. And even though this has a lot of flotation built into it, a few fish or a couple hours worth of fishing and this thing is going to be waterlogged just like you can see here. So to get this fly back into fishing shape, there's a really cool trick here. You ready for this? It's totally soaked. Use your drying patch. Uh, they sell a little wonder cloths and things or just use your shirt to try and get out as blot out as much of the water as possible and then grab something like my favorite is Life Flex. doesn't matter what color you get. Life Flex is a rubber leg material we sell for fly tying stuff. Uh, or a rubber band will even work. The rubber band however rots in the sun about every two or three weeks you gotta get a new rubber band assuming you fish uh, fairly often. The Life Flex will last much much longer. So I've been doing all of mine with Life Flex so I just take them tie an overhand knot in them uh, to make a loop and then I connect it to a zipper or a D-ring or anything like that on your vest. Next you leave your fly still attached to the tippet. You hook the fly onto the rubber band or onto the Life Flex and then you simply strum the tippet and the uh, resistance in the band makes it throw all of that water out of the CDC dry and now it will float like it was brand new in just a few seconds. Give that trick a try. I know it will catch you more fish because CDC flies always work better when they're floating high.